the runes. You need that sword. Go to the shop. Find the shards. Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. There's the shard. Focus. Focus. Use your eyes. Look. Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. I it's saw outside. once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is where he is. There he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. <laughs> Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like them. and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hand, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea.
There was a Northman called Grettir, big, red-haired, immensely strong, but he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night. Don't let it see Come you. On. You'll start to burn. You'll burn. There it is. Move away. Don't get it. Go quick. <gasps> what shall I do? This is taking too long. Can you hear him? You're lost. Two more rooms. You have to find them. <laughs> Coming. Go. Move away. Quick. You're lost again. Shannon! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, the 
This darkness has made me a monster. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Keep going. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood can injure him. Father's mother boasts. dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. He was kind to her. You can't go up you there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. Isn't he here? 
He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark he didn't world. believe it was you. He saved you when everyone else turned. Striking her with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. She should have listened to her father. Why didn't she listen to her father? She thought she could defy him. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking power. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replied, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes, movements, <laughs> an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel, and her past, and Dillian, a future. Two realities. Tearing at her soul. Do you remember how he made you feel? Remember the 
The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Dillian saved her. You owe your life to Dillian. You owe everything to him. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. They looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, learned to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's she not is. going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sam. No! 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 Where's he gone? It's your fault. He's disappeared. You've lost him to the sea. He's gone. You've lost him to the water. He's gone to the water. He's drowned. Shinoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. I cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. 
Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world? You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. What is this? The what if this is pain? Pain? What if you're that. wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be. The gift that makes you so special in life. <laughs> what if this is the end? Just it's just a trick. I know. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. I'm tired for the world. It's just a game for you. Us. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> because I <don't> know. <laughs> But it made it worse. I'm so sorry.